Hey everybody, Pokemon Trainer Solar comes to you guys with part 5 of our Ratchet and Clank Let's Play. So in this episode, we'll be going to Planet Umbris to take on Quark's Chan- uh, Quark's Channel? Quark's Channel. Oh my- I said it again. Quark's Challenge. So anyways, here we go to probably my least favorite place in the game. And the Sand Mouse just blew up. I love how it's at Sand Mouse House. It's like, oh, cute little line. Anyways, Quark's planet is kind of like Mars, but way more sinister once you actually land. Welcome to my challenge course. Now is your chance to prove yourself strong and brave, like me. <laughs> Conquer it, and you'll join in my fight against evil. Haven't we done enough already? What? I can't hear you. I said, haven't we done? Sorry, still having trouble. Tell me later! Later? We might be dead by then! What? Alright, Clank, let's get going. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if there's a new weapon we can buy, even though we can't afford it. Okay, good. I got some there's no new weapon, we don't have the money for it anyway, even if there was. But we do seem to be staying pretty positive in the money. This is the lowest we've been in a while. But I'm pretty sure this planet isn't too bad on bolts. Also, the music here is pretty intense, not gonna lie. Also, there are some really scary threats here, so we're just gonna take our time and, uh, you know, just just do it like that. Also, that, like, look at that thing! That thing is intense! Like, that thing is just, like, blowing up everything. I'm pretty sure you can kill him, though. So you just shoot it a few times and it's gone. And then just remember not to go in too early because those explosives kind of last a while. Also, those mines, I do believe, count as enemies that do track you. Yeah, so they're essentially like the mine glove mines, but just large. Oh god, the sound effect is so grainy on those metal boxes exploding. Now, these little turrets, fairly easy to avoid. They do kind of like to track you sometimes. All you have to do is go up to them, and then you can deactivate them. They can't be destroyed. So, don't expect to be able to kill them. Oh yeah, these things. The mines. Now, what you want to do is you kind of want to just like, go to where they're coming from, and then just kind of torch them down like that. And now we got two of these things. I think it only takes five shots or so, maybe even less from the uh, blaster to kill those things. They deal rapid damage, but they don't really stand a chance for how tough you think they'd be. Alrighty, time to equip our Pyrocitor again. Blow up. Blow up that, thank you. My lord, game. Oh, these ones are a little more tricky because they can come from the side. So, your best bet once again is just to find a sweet spot and just torch them. Not too hard. Oh yeah, these things. These things like to show up in Ratchet and Clank games. Usually the first game in the Ratchet and Clank series, because there are multiple series in this franchise. And yeah, they all tend to have those in the first game. Some of them are a little more strategic than others. Yeah, see, the blast reaction is really low range, or really short range. You gotta be really careful with like um, how close or how far you are from enemies. Also, man, you can't pick up stuff very far away in this game, can you? So anyways, looks like we have to hit some more switches. If you have issues getting to these on time, just do your long jump. That can help you. And that opened up... Um... This way. Yeah, this way. Now, these platforms here will fall and step on them, so just jump. Shouldn't be too much of an issue if you're decent-ish at platformers. Like, every platform game has platforms that fall, so nothing new. Also, it kind of makes sense that those can shoot through barbed wire. I'm pretty sure you can too, but there's really never any reason or option to, and we just destroyed that poor red quark face. I think it's supposed to be quark's face, right? Oh, I have my blaster. I thought I had my pyro pyrocitor out. I swear I just touched that, but okay. I'll take it. Thank you. Wow, we're almost at 3,000 volts already. And we came in here with none, remember that. See, that's just how many volts you get here, but I'm pretty sure the last weapon was like, what, 7,500? Or last two. 
It's gonna cost quite a bit. Oh yeah, this part. This part can be annoying. Okay, I do kind of like though how this kind of homes in. So you kind of do have a little bit of leeway with it, except it's bad and swarm spending, like we've seen in the uh, Blackwater City video. Now I believe enemy fire can kill or can kill. Well, it can kill other enemies, but uh, can destroy boxes too. Now, I'm pretty sure what you want to do is you want to find all of these little buttons. Ow, I ran right into that one. I did not run into that one, game. Can you hurry up and blow up? Thank you. I needed to find this switch. I didn't know where the last switch was. And there we go. Now that should have opened up. Yeah, there we go. Wait, isn't this the way we're supposed to go? Yeah, never mind. This isn't the one I thought it was. I do appreciate the help, though. That's not at all what I thought it was doing. Oh, um, game. Can you, like, cooperate with these uh, dudes, please? I swear their your hitbox is like really weird sometimes with certain enemies, because like they they have a constant stream, right? They're not like uh like a targeting enemy. And how did I not take damage from that guy but took damage from okay whatever. Actually, never mind, maybe the secret isn't here. Because I thought the secret I jumped, but for some reason. Uh, okay, you did the evasive maneuver. Yeah, if you, if you do if you do the long jump a while standing still, you do have, like, an evasive maneuver, but that's not at all what I thought. Yeah, I wanted to... Oh, never mind. This one opens up around it. I forgot about that. Also, I'm pretty sure there's not a lot of checkpoints in this level, so be careful with that. Now we have to go all the way back around. Yeah, we're at 3,500 volts already. Nice. Hopefully there's some HP or AK nanotech in here. Oh, there is. Good. And the gold bolt. I think this is the only gold bolt here, right? Or there might be two. But I do want to try and get all the collectibles that we possibly can. If it doesn't require us to go out of our way. Then maybe at the end I'll have like a montage video of the ones I miss. So I'll still show you guys where everything is, but just in a different manner. Okay, we're maxed out on blaster ammo again, which is nice. And we do have a little bit of health. We're only at half health, but it's still health nonetheless. Anyways, I believe this is the Hydro Displacer. Okay, we're not at the Hydro Displacer part yet. I don't think you really use it much more after this planet. A lot of gadgets in this game really aren't used that often. I think your hacking one, I think, is used the most. But that could just be me misremembering. Mis also, did I miss a mine over... I'm pretty sure I missed a mine, but it kind of blew up automatically there, which is weird. We opened up that door. And now we have to go and heal. No, this is the Hydro Displacer part. I remember this part. So yeah, we're definitely at the Hydro Displacer part now. Oh my god. This takes so long to get up. Yeah, and see, there's a shark gator. That thing will instantly kill you. So what you want to do is just drain the water. And then, uh, you know, you can use whatever you want on it. It doesn't matter. I believe it takes two hits to kill them regardless of what weapon you're using. Because they are pretty beefy enemies. And, oh, there's multiple shark gators in here. Oh, wait, no, it only takes one hit. Was that other shark gator just stronger than the other? Or did we miss them? Also, we didn't need to put the water back up, really? Is there something back there? There is something back there. Huh. Oh, it's just boxes. I'm pretty sure that's all it is, right? Yeah, it's just boxes. Which you can cheese, even though you're not supposed to be able to do that, by the way. In the original, you couldn't. But there are a lot of bugs in these games, like in the remake versions, so that's kind of why. Also, these aren't worth a lot of bolts, like really? All this work? 
just to get a few bolts. Like I said, this game is really chintzy. I think I said that in the first or second episode, but... They could really give us some more money, though. We've had enough for almost everything immediately, so that's good, but there are certain points where you might have to grind bolts and it gets really tedious. Also, those shells down there do give ammo. Or give ammo, give money to get bolts. Oh, and these guys can't be used in the water. Yeah, I forgot about that. There are certain things in this game that can't be used in water. Also, Nick Fire would, like, cook a fish, right? Like I said, Pyrocitor is not a strong weapon, but it's a reliable weapon, because even if it doesn't instantly kill, and a lot of the time will cause your enemies to, uh, like, flinch, which then will allow you to do more damage to them anyway. Man, we got so many bolts from that one segment, and now we're not really getting any. We're not even at 5,000 yet. Now, is there a Sharkigator in this water? Ooh, there's two Sharkigators, but to get that... We need to long jump. Because I'm pretty sure what you want to do is you want to drain the water, kill the Sharkigators, fill the water back up, swim underneath. Yeah, this gets a little tedious, but let's see, how far are we? This is almost the end, so I believe the Hydro Displicer part is the end, and we actually might have enough time to go to another planet in this episode, which will be cool. So we can now use the Mind Glove. These guys can still hurt you if you get close to them, though. Oh, so it does take two hits. Hey, guys. Also, that's not landing where I want. Or, apparently, it takes one hit. Wait, why did I send out two mines? This glove is really weird. It's like double activating sometimes. And I'm just tapping it. I'm not holding it down. I'm tapping. I never hold down weapons, except for the Pyrocitor and the Blaster in this. Because those are the only weapons you really need to hold down. But yeah, see, so you need to swim, but like I said, Sharky Gator is insta-kill you if if they're able to swim. Now we should be getting close to the planets where we can get more upgrades and oh, we got Hydro Displacer with swing shot targets now. Interesting. So it looks like we'll need to drain the water because I bet you there's shark Oh never mind. There's actually nothing down there. There might be a shark gator. But you can't swing if the water's too high. And is this the ending? Oh, I think it is, but oh my god, look at these. Why are there so many of you? I love their death sound. This is also the only game where you could kill Sharkigators, by the way. I find that really funny that you never get to kill them again. And they do show up in Jack and Daxter. I don't know if that was intended, or if like Insomniac and Naughty Dog were just like, you know what? This idea of a Sharkigator swimming through the water, ready to kill... We think that's a good idea, so we'll uh, copy each other. Also, how am I supposed to get up here? Ratchet's clearly not capable of jumping that high. Oh, never mind. Is that supposed to be a challenge? Oh yeah, and then you gotta go back and drain the water because... The steps are in a weird spot. Also, how come I could grab it from the side when we're going up the right, but not the left? The music here is really weird to hear that. Oh yeah, in the background. Alrighty, let's go up here and see what we got. Ooh, we got a cave. I do really like caves. I like cave levels, except for Mario, for some reason, because cave levels in Mario are really boring. The Ratchet and Clank does caves really cool. And, oh, there's Captain Quark waiting for us in a cave in some kind of menacing area. That, yeah. This is, um, a little intimidating. I don't know what he wants with us, but I'm gonna equip my Glove of Doom, just in case there's some enemies. And, uh, we'll dive right into here. And There's some flickering going on to the left. Well, well. You two continue to surprise me. Step into the ring of heroes, and I will finally give you what you deserve. Ratchet, this is no time for you to become cautious. We have reached our goal. I don't know. There's something fishy going on here. Listen to your little metal friend, Ratchet. Your destiny is mere steps away. It's just something doesn't seem right. This is it. Quark is going to help us stop Cheb and Drek. Why, thank you, Clank. You've been most helpful. Get off of me, you idiot! <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together! 
What do you mean? What do you think he means, genius? He's not gonna help us, he's gonna kill us! You catch on quick. Although there is one problem with your hypothesis. I'm not going to kill you. You're not? No. He is. But... Why? But why? It's really not that difficult to decipher. I'm the official spokesman for Drek's new planet. I can't have you two getting in the way of my comeback. This isn't over, Quark. No. But it will be soon. Great, a Blargeen Snaggle Beast. So let's see how much the Mind Glove does to him. If the Mind Glove... Oh, never mind, I'm using these little guys and they can't even do anything against him. See, this boss is a little difficult because your weapons are really weird in this game. So what you want to do is when he steps, you can just jump. And I believe every time you get him down a little bit of health, yeah, he'll shield, and then what you gotta do is you gotta walk over these bridges, and then he'll eventually come over, follow you, step in lava, and lose another bar of health. Also, his picture down there is like, really weird looking. Yeah, see? It kind of reminds me of a Spyro boss fight, but once again, remember, Ratchet and Clank is created by Insomniac, which did do the Spyro games, so it would make sense to have you know, fights that are kind of similar, or kind of, you know, have similar attributes to them. God, you gotta get so close to enemies with this blaster. You think a blaster would be your long-range weapon, but nope, sadly not in this game. Oh. Gotta avoid that little trial of fire that he does, and... Oh, do we actually have to get him down two bars? No, never mind. Now what we can do is we can just come over here, we can grab some more ammo while he chases us. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, we got some bomb glove over here. And I think we have to do it once more, right? Because then... Uh, yeah. There goes the shield. Beautiful. Now, uh, how much ammo do we have? We have 78. Is that enough to get him down a full bar or not? I'm not actually entirely sure. It's kind of hard to determine. Also, I remember this boss fight being way more difficult as a kid. Whoa, what is that? Oh, my ammo! I forgot about that attack! Yeah, that's a big money waster game. Thank you. Kind of want my ammo back, dude. Well, thank you for all my ammo. Alrighty, there's so much bomb glove ammo, and that's not even the weapon that we use. Like, it's a good weapon, but it's just too awkward to use on this boss fight. And there we go. Wow, are we going to beat this boss without taking a single point of damage? So wait, does he have a rapid fire attack that I didn't know about? Hey, buddy. Can you, like, actually follow me? And just step in the lava and drown? There we go. Easy boss fight. Oh, wait. Why did he still have a little bar of health? Oh, there's a door over there. I thought there was a cutscene, because we still don't have another way to another planet. Oh, there's an infobot there. I wonder what that infobot is for. Maybe it can replace you. We're pinned down! We're pinned down! The ships are hammering our position from the air! That was a little too close! We need support! Now! Actually, I need support! My entire battalion went AWOL and left me to fight this war on my own! If the enemy doesn't kill those guys, I will! I'm not gonna last much longer! Request an immediate assistance! Over and out! For you! The direct ships destroying that planet. We must help that commando. Are you serious? That's it! I am out of here! Captain Quark is gonna be sorry he messed with me! This is not about Captain Quark anymore. There are innocent lives being lost. Yeah? Well, I'm done with this stupid hero stuff. I got my own agenda now. Ratchet, this is not like you. What do you know about me? You spent this whole time looking for Quark. You don't know anything about me. I know that you will do the right thing. Well, right now, the thing I want to do is find Quark. How do you start this stupid thing? Have you forgotten? You need a robotic ignition system. I will start the ship if you agree to help that commando. So, blackmail is it? Fine. Just shut up and start the ship. Oh, yeah. 
There is a little bit of a feud between them. So soon? Oh, you're talking to me. I'm not in the habit of talking to myself, you buffoon. Did you get rid of them? Yes. No. Well, I, I had this plan, and I thought... You thought? You thought? I do the thinking around here, you slug brain idiot. I simply needed you to eliminate those two nuisances before they could cause any real trouble. But I wanted them. Do you still want to be the highly paid spokesman for my planet? Yeah. Then the next time I send you to do a job, I want results! Now get out of my sight! So I guess we're automatically going to Planet Battalia, and yeah, we kind of knew that Quark was working for him because they didn't do a very good job of kind of hiding that fact. Anyways, Planet Battalia. This planet is way more intense than the remake, by the way. Attention, you deserting maggots! The next time you soldiers try to go AWOL, I'll shoot you myself! Look, I just want to zip it, worm! You see those bombers? If you don't get to the turrets and knock those ships out of the sky, this whole planet's gonna be rubble! Meet me at the city entrance! He needs our help. Yeah? Why don't you go help him? Into another trap. Well, go on. Go fight some evil. At least I'm not a coward. <laughs> Whatever. As soon as I find Quark, I'm selling you for scrap. Ooh, their hatred towards each other is so bad right now. Anyways, I have no ammo, and I'm pretty sure there's a new weapon here. Yeah, the Devastator for only 10,000? Really? The missile launcher in this game is only 10,000? That's actually not bad. Anyways, that should be good enough. These guys, we can just use the Pyrocitor on again. So, because they're just little small enemies that take one shot to kill from any weapon. So you really don't have to worry. I don't know if there's any more enemies here. There might be Blarg. Oh yeah, the grind rail! I forgot about this segment. Man, you don't really, like... Grind boots are only in, like, every now and then in Ratchet & Clank games. Some games are, like, really heavy, like, heavily based on them. And then, like, Upper Arsenal doesn't even have this seg like, any of these segments in it. Also, you can hit these mines if you time it right. By the way, but you have to time it just right, otherwise you're gonna blow yourself up. You won't die instantly, you can, you know, take four hits like you normally would. Well, you take three and then you die, but... I kinda wish they dropped bolts, because there's so many of these things. Oh. oh, you do have to hit twice. Okay. I thought they were supposed to blow each other up. That, or they didn't blow up fast enough, one or the other. Do you think smacking them would still cause you to take damage? Because, you know, you're still sliding into an explosion. Okay, now we'll go over here. God, those dropships up there are huge. So I wanted to go over there, but it didn't let me go to the left. Weird. It's all these bolts, man. They're only single bolts, though, so they're not good for, like, grinding money. Which really sucks. A lot of the bolts that you just see pre-lying around are literally only worth one, so they're not really, like, worth going out of your way to, like, hunt them down. And, uh... Oh, hi, buddy. Who are you? What are you doing? We are on a mission to save the galaxy. Speak for yourself and put your hands down. You look ridiculous. Actually, I don't care who you are. I've got to get the heck out of here. I joined the army to get money to go to college. I never knew I'd end up in a war. Go figure. This is a noble cause, sir. Noble my hiney. I just want to get home to my family. Here, I pulled this off a busted robot. Give me some bolts for bus fare and it's yours. Oh, great. All the money push. again. Good luck saving the galaxy or whatever. Where's this do? Supreme Executive Chairman Drek. As you can see, we're about to test our newest automated pilot's helmet. This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high-tech fighters using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. We still have a, a few minor adjustments to make. Oh, if they ever get the kinks worked out of that thing, I have got to get me one of those. If they are working for Chairman Drek, they may know where he is. Is that all you can think about, Drek this and Drek that? I got my own problems. If you cannot see the importance of this situation, you do have problems. Yeah? Well, if you're so smart, how come you fell for Quark's stupid trick? Ah, forget it. 
We both need to get to this planet, and that's all that matters. Huh, so Ratchet's almost being the bigger guy. Planet Gaspar. I do believe you get two coordinates. You get Planet Gaspar and Planet Orkson. Both Blar home planets. Orkson is like their actual home planet. Whoa! Um, game? What was that? I didn't click the aim button. Yeah, these guys actually have a range attack too, which can be a little annoying. Oh, yeah, never mind. There are Nork. Or Nork. I was gonna say Nork commandos. Robot commandos here. My. I'm pretty sure this is the one that you don't want to break. Yeah, I knew it. There's a gold bolt over there, but I can't get up there. Not from here. Unless... Oh! Never mind, this is the thing that was... Oh, why did I use that? Oh, thank you, little robots. Now, can I make that from here? I don't think I... Oh, no, no, no. We need... We need the Trespasser. I always want to call it the Trespasser, just because it's funny. Okay, so we only got one laser and then one that blocks. That can't go there. That can't go there, either. I don't know where this one would go, because it doesn't really have any options. Man, this is a cluster jam of things going on here, man. Okay, so we got none act. Okay, this thing you really gotta use the D-pad for. Okay, I think that one's supposed to go there, right? But then this one is in the way of everything. Oh yeah, see that one's not actually used for anything. I didn't think so. Wait, is this just for bolts? Like, well, just for bolts is like saying, oh man, I'm, ju I'm working just for money, well, obviously. Like, why else would you be working, man? You want to survive and have fun in life, right? So you gotta get money. Oh yeah, we're back up to pretty much where we started before we came here, so that's good. Now, with that gold bolt up here, though, I, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to get to it from jumping up on these boxes. But I'm not entirely sure how you do it, because it's a little bit difficult to do. Unless we can get higher up than that. Right? Unless this is... Ah, uh, there's Blar behind there. That's, um, intriguing, I guess. Yeah, so, you know, that won't work there. So, I guess we'll go behind here and deal with these Blargy and Snaggle Turds. These Blargy and Snaggle Turds. And then they just hide in the plants like they're some kind of freaking weirdo. Oh, wait, why doesn't it automatically keep the helmet equipped? I'm not gonna like purposely go into my menu and put on the helmet just to be able to get a sand mouse house. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a way up here. Like, um, there's like a wall jump somewhere. Right? It might be later on. I'll come back for it. I don't want to spend too much time in this episode just chilling there. It's already a 20 minute. 28 minute episode, you bridge destroying weirdos. I'm just gonna use my big weapon here to not get electrocuted by him, I was hoping. And of course, we missed him. Oh, and they're dead in one shot, too. Okay, so they're aggressive, but they're not really that threatening. I do need more health, though, because they seem to be taking some stupid damage from enemies here. And I really can't blame anyone but myself, except for that one hit. Ah, uh, you know that one where it like aimed in? Oh yeah, this part is kind of tedious too. Because I'm pretty sure we have to keep activating bolt cranks to open up bridges in this level. So it's going to be a little time consumed. Oh god, the frame drops when enemies are uh... Oh yeah, double key it, that's what I'm talking about. Now, what is this way exactly? If the bridge is back up top, there's got to be something this way, right? Don't fall down the river or anything like that. Can I actually go up the river? No, I don't think you can. So there's nothing over here. This is worth a few bolts. So I guess we'll turn the crank. Hopefully no enemy will pop out at us. Yeah, see, he goes like really fast in this game. They kind of slowed Ratchet down with how fast he walks around. Bolt cranks. 
but he does the, the same thing about as fast. So he doesn't circle like ten times before he opens. He circles about three or four, and then finishes whatever he's cranking. Some bolt cranks do take longer than naturally. I always forget, no strafing in this game. Oh. Yeah, Devastator that I can't afford right now. Yet. Oh yeah, now they're completely useless once they're like this. So you don't have to worry about them hurting you anymore. Why was there a robot in there? I just want the help so I don't die in one shot from anything. Also, we got something clearly over here. That's not even much of a secret. Unless this really isn't a secret, and I thought I'd just fall off the cliff for a second. I'd literally let go of the controller going, oh. Hey, it's a gold bolt. Don't mind if we do. I'm always up for free gold bolts. Yeah. Now, let's see what ammo we get. I'm hoping we start picking up some Devastator ammo, just because the Devastator is a very expensive ammo weapon. But it's also probably going to be your primary weapon used to deal with a lot of stuff in this game. And uh, thank god I made that. I totally forgot where I was supposed to land to get up there. Oh yeah, you also... Like, oh my god, because of the weird delay... God, you guys cause so much, like, frame... so many frame drops because you shoot so fast. Oh, hey down there, little pal. Ah! Oh, he survived! Can you just get lost, scrub? Glove of Doom! Kinda just hightail it until they come out. Man, it takes two Glove of Dooms to deal with them, though. Ow! Just attack! Attack them, you turds! What are you doing leaping at them? There you go! Like, why was that so hard? Oh my god, he got away on us. I hate these enemies because they're so freaking fast, yet not really that difficult to deal with. Hey, oh, he, he's gonna hit by that. Yeah, I knew it. There was no escape there, little blargy and snaggle turd. So guys, let's open up the bridge. Are we gonna open up the entire bridge? I think we only opened up half of it. Oh because there's another bolt crank right here. I think we're almost at the end of this level. This level isn't the longest, and you actually do get two coordinates, but I think that's why it's not very long. It's meant to be, like, kind of a side area to the story while your characters go through their little spiels, and what a useless room. Oh yeah, to do that you need the uh, magnet boots. I'm pretty sure it's the magnet boots. And we found the commando. Thing, it won't budge. I've tried everything I know short of nuclear weaponry. Hmm. No, never mind. Well, you tried. See ya. Not so fast, soldier. You're going into that compound even if I have to throw you. Aha! That ventilation shaft leads to the turret platform. Soldier, find a way to use that shaft to infiltrate the compound undetected. Hmm. You've shown bravery by making it this far, soldier. And for that, I reward you. I intercepted this communique that you might find useful. Take it. I'm off to find my battalion. Good luck. Hello once again, fellow blog. I hope this message finds you well. As many of you know, our home planet is no longer habitable. We've abandoned our factories, our laboratories, and our happy lives because of the encroaching pollution, leaving much behind. Fortunately, the nearby planets will supply us with all we need to create our new home, which is nearing completion. Once our scientists locate the ideal orbit, our new world will be perfect. So reserve your space now. Prime locations are filling up fast. Good day. Now do you understand why we must stop him? He won't rest until he has destroyed every planet in the galaxy. Yeah? Well, I got bigger fish to fry. Bigger than the galaxy? Well, different fish anyway. Look, didn't that commando guy say we could get into that compound? Yes, by using the ventilation shaft. But we will need something special to walk on that. Fine, let's get going then. We'll come back later. 
You will need a pair of Gadgetron Magna Boots to travel. Oh, it's Magna Boots, not Magnet Boots, but Magna Boots. Anyways, um, I think we're pretty much done this episode. Now we have two planets. We have Planet Orkson and Planet Gaspar. Both planets that I'm not really fond of. Planet Gaspar is difficult, and Planet Orkson is like a clank base plant that you have to come back to later as Ratchet. So, we'll probably do Gaspar. Like, maybe be able to do them both in the same episode, honestly. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time for more Ratchet and Clank. Hit the bell for notifications. Bye-bye.